talk about uh, the big uh, grilling that lawmakers uh, had in store for Google CEO Sundar Pichai yesterday on Capitol Hill. He did face some pretty tough questions, specifically on political bias and user privacy. Does Google, through this phone, know that I have moved here and moved over to the left? It's either yes or no. Uh, not by default. There may be a Google service which you've opted in to use, uh, and if so, Google knows that I am moving over there. It's it's not a trick question. You know, you make a hundred million dollars a year. You ought to be able to answer that question. A little bit of theater uh, taking place there. I want to welcome in our own theatrical reporter, New York Times media reporter Ed Lee. Uh, thank you for joining sure. us. Uh, you you watched all of this and uh, took notes. Uh, I know. Oh yeah, feverishly. Feverishly. Yeah. Um, <laughs> It did seem that the political bias, I mean, we talked about the privacy issue was yes. one issue. And that, by the way, I thought was actually unfair to, to Sundar because, yes, and it, because it's not a yes or no question. There, it's complicated, right? It's complicated. There's, there's a whole bunch of apps that Google makes that they're all different feature sets, different levels of default. Um, I, I think there's a bit of nuance, though, in terms of, he, he kept answering, it's up to the user, it's up to the settings. A lot of the settings on these apps come defaulted, defaulted to if you tracking. Get the app, right, exactly. By and some way, apps don't even work. By if the you way, don't track. a lot of us don't know how to really track through or trace right. those things. And I so think he that's did, the bigger point. That is the bigger point. It, it was an unfair way of setting it up, but the point is a fair one, which is not do you know, Sundar, but do I know? Right. Like, and do I have control on how easy is it for me to access right. that control? How, how do I shut it down? How do I quickly exactly. and easily shut it down if I don't so want it? So the question, though, was your takeaway. What, what is your takeaway of their takeaway? Because that's what this ultimately is about. So, you know, what, what the Washington the, takeaway really is. So for the year, right, uh, we've seen Congress grill uh, tech executives, the most recent of Sundar, but Mark Zuckerberg notably, and Jack Dorsey showed up a bunch of times. We call it political theater, which it is, but what does it try to accomplish for these guys? It plays to their base. Right? It helps them to create a campaign video in the long run, which will probably show up on YouTube in some form or another. More importantly, it owned plays- Owned by Google. Owned by Google, which, and more importantly, it, it plays to, the, to their donors. Right, right? Can I, can so I, the, I have a two-pronged question, Sorkin. But the, so when you finish- I just want to ask, one, Mark, I just want ahead. to understand, so we just talked about the theater element. Right. Is there a reality element that's going to impact the Google business, the Twitter business, the Facebook business, as a function of all of this? Yeah, not, not next year. Not anytime soon. The, the, real, the, the reality, the impact will be these guys will be to raise more money, certainly, right. uh, and help their campaign coffers. But in terms of legislation, regulation, I don't see that coming next year. Despite the bipartisan support, there is one hint. Section 230 of the Communications Decency Act, which if, you're, if you want to geek out on it, it gives them broad protections. It gives Facebook and Twitter, Google broad protections for whatever shows up on their service, right? Okay. So if crazy stuff shows up, you don't hold these guys liable as long as they try to do something about it. So they might tweet that. Watching Nadler right at the very top. So his uh, contention was that everybody has a, a point of view. And he pointed out, you know, you got Sean Hannity, you got uh, Don Lemon. Or, you know, he, he said, so this happens all the time in media organizations. They, they decide which side to take. And, you, and you, you can't expect them not to. Is search the same as like a media and to, if, you, if you stack your search results with an algorithm that favors one side or the other, it could that very this, well be. It could very well. But is be that biased. the same? That's. But I know. But but it's. They're saying. Look, Washington Post, Wall Street Journal op-ed right. pages are saying this is the world that we live in. It's there's two sides, and they're entitled to do that. But with search, are they entitled? And then my second question is: Then we had a Democrat say, "Look, I I search myself, and everything. The first ten searches were Daily Caller." Um, Drudge Report, right. Breitbart. So he said, I searched myself and all that came up with, I'm getting slammed by, by the way, conservative all those, media. All those sites that you, you mentioned, yeah. they are much better at search than the, the so-called established so then media. It's not, the so, bright, so then Google will put Breitbart at the Drudge, top. Shows yeah, up. Right. In fact, so then that's not. The emergence of the conservative media altogether happened because of the internet, because of Facebook. So and then that we Google. don't need to worry about search being well, skewed. Well, so if you, take, if you take Sundar at his word, which is the the algorithm doesn't have, I think the phrase is used, has no notion of Why political you say, bias. Right. 
Do you not take them at his You word? know why I say if? Yeah, because if we don't know word. what's yeah. in the algorithm, right? That is part of the other liability with Google, not just Google, but Facebook as well, which is a lot of their systems are a black box. Now, they can claim this is proprietary, this is, this is what we do, this is the right. value of our company, and so but we're not going to open But typically, by the way, even everybody. on Facebook, you go and you look at the top 10 searches on any given day, yep. and they historically are populated, you know, 8 out of 10 by sites that might be described as conservative sites. So the idea that somehow it's stifling um, right. well, like you know, political is speech the is the most popular within Facebook and you know what shows up through Google search as well in terms of in terms of if you're searching for just news regularly. And I think right. it's partly they're just better at SEO a lot of times, but also people are searching these things out and clicking on them. And that's another signal that Google reads to say, oh, that's popular. Let's right. bring that up.